Hello and welcome to this review of Canadian Gold, Barrister's Canadian Gold, very light Canadian whiskey, a blend, extra fine quality, 40% alcohol, it says Canada's finest. Strange that it's their finest whiskey, but yet um, there's only one video review and it's not even listed on Uh, proof 66 or distiller.com, but anyway, very light Canadian whiskey, it claims. I bought this at Total Wine and More. It says, bottled by Wellington Distillers Products Company, Scobieville, New Jersey, and that's an alias name for Laird and Company. There's a crest that says, uh, same thing as the uh, Four Queens, but this one has a crown with fleur-de-lis and two lions, trying to make it look... Uh, like the British Empire, and it says, uh, Du avec nous. You with us. Uh, this whiskey is at least 36 months old. Well, that's the law in Canada. That's the minimum age, so it's minimum age. Distilled in Canada, quality par excellence. So, just according to the bottle, it's fantastic quality. And there's the crest again on the main label imported obviously to the US if you bought this in Canada it would not say imported I don't know if it's even sold in Canada um, $9.99 at Total Wine and more $9.99 at Total Wine and more <clears throat> So we'll watch the video review. That was from Daniel Neumann, Newman, or Neumann, um, in Pennsylvania. All right, Canada Gold. So it's Canada's finest whiskey, self-proclaimed finest whiskey, but practically unknown. Introduced in introduced in 1962 June 14th 1962 actually was the first time it was ever used in commerce according to US trademark information nice uniform alcohol eggs this was probably sold in the USA before Crown Royal was which didn't hit the US market the United States market until 1964 of course, Crown Royal is the world's most popular Canadian whiskey, but this one is the finest, <laughs> according to the, the bottle. All right, gold, just straight up gold. Nice uniform alcohol legs. Don't know the mash bill. Never will find it out. So, Laird and Company is a lot like Prestige Beverage of Minnesota, Luxco of uh, Missouri. And so forth, these companies that don't really so much, oh, or um, McCormick of Missouri, they don't really do much distilling on their own. They mainly just have their stuff sourced. And really, Sazerac, well, Sazerac has their own distillery in Montreal, Canada, Sazerac, Canada, so yeah, never mind that. All right, anyway, uh, so made in Canada and bottled in New Jersey. Smells kind of Crown Royalish, meaning corn spirits. So if you, if you, I'll be curious to see how this does in a blind taste test against Crown Royal, actually. So if you smell Crown Royal, it's just going to smell like corn liquor, mostly unaged corn spirits, grain alcohol, or as they call it in Canada, grain whiskey, which is what mainly it is. Now, Crown Royal and this, I suppose, is going to have a, uh, a certain percentage of rye whiskey, wheat whiskey perhaps, and barley malt whiskey, malt whiskey. Now, the percentages will change brand to brand, of course, and then the method will change. Some of them age each whiskey separately for up for at least three years or longer, and then they'll blend them together and bottle it. Some age them together. In other words, they blend them first, then age, like um, black velvet. 
then they bottle it. So uh, some claim one way is better, others claim the other way is better. So we don't know how this one's, we don't know the process for this one. Let's go with the taste. Tastes like it might have a little white rum added, silver rum. Now, Canadian whiskey can be blended with flavorings such as rum, brandy, American bourbon, and any sort of wine, any sort of wine, as long as it's aged in small wood, as the Canadian regulations say. The flavorings cannot make up more than 9.9% .9 of the volume. So these things can be almost 10% other things. And the U.S. blended whiskey can add blending sherry, which can be no more than, can't remember, it's two or two and a half percent of the volume. So it tastes like it might have, to me it tastes like rum, white rum. Now some of these Canadian whiskeys will have a strong flavoring taste if you buy Canadian Limited, or as some people call it, Canadian LTD. Canadian Limited or Rich and Rare, they have a pretty strong, as John Anille of Georgia Beer Reviews will call it, a, a um, almond extract flavor. Well, they can't add almond extract, but they might have, like I say, these wines and other spirits that would mimic that. A few more little sips. They say it's light. Well, it is light. I have to give it that. It's The body's light. The flavor is light. And the um, finish is dry, and, and it's a pretty quick finish. There's a sell sheet that I posted down in the notes along with the um, website link. Sell sheet information saying that, the, you know, enjoy Canadian gold in a cocktail or on ice. All right. So they're not recommending drinking it neat like I'm doing. It's, the focus is at least on ice and preferably in a cocktail. So it's a mixer. It's not like bursting with flavor. But then on the other hand, there's nothing off-putting or um, unsettling about it. For $9.99 a bottle, is it worth it? Well, I guess it's worth it. Um, it's probably better than the uh, Rich and Rare, not Rich and Rare Reserve, and that's a higher grade. But Rich and Rare or Canadian Limited or Caliber, those are, all three have a peculiar flavor. But then you look at the price point, Caliber at $5.96 a bottle. And Canadian Limited at around $7.95 a bottle and Rich and Rare for about $8.50 a bottle. Then you can see that depending on the store, I think at Total Wine you might get them cheaper than I just quote. Well, they don't sell Caliber at Total Wine, but you can go to Walmart and get a $5.96. You got to take those prices into consideration. But how would this do against Crown Royal, which will run you about $23 a bottle? So we're talking about... $14 more per bottle for Crown Royal, are you getting anything better? I don't know in a blind taste test, I really don't know. I think it has a little more pronounced rye flavor and a little more body, the Crown Royal. Um, but still, you get a lot of green whiskey like you get with this one. Overall, though, I think it is a good product. I give it a B. 87 out of 100 and 8.7 out of 10. It is a solid product. So if you want to go check it out at Total Wine and More for $9.99, go ahead. And uh, you can get the handle bottle, the big plastic uh, 1,750 milliliter bottle, for about $16.99. So, of course, you're going to get a better value per ounce or milliliter if you get the uh, handle. But I, I was satisfied just to get the 750 milliliter glass bottle. So, Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, a good Canadian whiskey, at least, that's been on the market nearly 60 years at the time of this recording. And I'm going to end this review, review by saying... Y'all go to Scobieville, New York, and tour the Laird's family, dis well, blending and bottling operations.